And now, another tale well calculated to keep you in... Suspense. When desperate men seek to overthrow a government, when a dictator is fighting to retain his power, death is the penalty for all the losers. Now, Revolution, written by Peter Fernandez. Fidel Soprano! Fidel Soprano! Can you see him yet, Bob? Now with all this crowd. There's a line of motorcycles right behind the band. That, that should mean he's almost here. Oh, then get the camera ready. Yeah, okay. Pardon, senor. No pictures are to be taken. Huh? No pictures of the dictator are to be taken from this spot. But that's ridiculous. No pictures. No pictures. You understand? Hey, where'd he go? Ah, he just disappeared into the car. Fine thing. We hold this spot for two hours just to see a real old-style dictator in the flesh, and some wise guy says no pictures. Is he coming yet? Oh, Sabrina. Let me see. There's a big open car. Yeah? Yeah, he's standing up in back, waving at everybody. There he is. There he is. I see him. Oh, he's just the way he looks in the newsroom. Oh, Bobby, has got to get just one picture and nobody will ever believe we really saw him. You sure our friend is gone? I can't see him. Hurry, Bob. Okay, here goes. Holy oh, mackerel, someone just shot him. Throw my arm, let's get out of here. Uh, just a sec. Yes? Good afternoon. You. The man who told us we couldn't take the picture. Where is your husband? Uh, never mind, I can hear him in the shower. Well, what do you want? You do not believe in obeying orders, Mrs. Sherman? Orders? Well, of course I do. But your husband went ahead and took a picture anyway. Did he? Where is the camera? Oh. Who are you? I will find it myself. But now, just a minute. You can't go through our things. I'm... Bob! Bob! Keep quiet. Yeah, honey? Come out here. I'm warning you. I'm not dressed yet. Well, put your robe on. I told you to be still. Let go of my arm. I'm... I'll call the police. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, honey. Now, what is it? Hey, what are you doing here? Let go of my wife. Very well, senor. Now, please give me your camera. Camera? Now, listen here, You Max. listen. A gun. I said I want the camera. Now. Sure. I'll, I'll get it. No, I will get it. Where is it? Hanging on a hook in the closet. Huh? Ah, yes. Thank you. Is the film still in here? Sure, but... Good. Now, let me give you a little advice, my dear Americanos. You better get out of this country as soon as possible. Hey, hey, just a minute. That's a valuable camera. Is it? Then I am sorry. But in the future, when someone tells you not to take pictures, do as you are told. That camera's worth over 200 bucks. He can't get away with a thing like that. It, as soon as I get dressed, we're going to the police. Yes, senor, senora. How can we help you? We want to report that our, our camera was stolen. Oh, well, I am sorry we cannot help, but... Uh... You see, our entire force is working on the attempted assassination of El Supremo. Attempted assassination? Then he wasn't killed. Fortunately, no. Uh, could you come back and file the necessary report tomorrow? Uh, that'd be impossible. So we're just here on our honeymoon. We're flying back to the States first thing in the morning. Oh. Eh, very well. You will have to see the Capitan, though he's busy enough. Uh, one moment, please. Sure. This is Garcia. I have some Americano touristas here who have a robbery to report. Uh, I know, Capitan, but they are very insistent. See? Si. See? Si. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, the Capitan is very busy, but uh, he will take the time to see you. Please, uh, go through those double doors over there, then down the corridor. His office is the last one on the right. Thanks. Come on, listen. <laughs> You go in first, honey. Come in. Bob. Come in, my friends. Go ahead, honey. I... Oh, so... You are the police. 
That's right. The police is me. Now, please, close the door after you. Sure. I'm very glad that you came here. Both of you. Glad? Then you were you were going to return our camera after all? Where is the film you exposed at the parade this afternoon? You've already got that. It, it was in the camera when you grabbed it. You are lying, Mr. Shelburne. The film was developed. Very nice pictures of you and your wife in front of some of our landmarks. But of the parade, of El Supremo and those near him, of the would-be assassins, nothing. I, I don't understand. I do. Clearly, you are trying to conceal the identity of the would-be assassins. It's ridiculous. For assassins, or those who protect them, there is only one penalty. Look, we're not assassins. We're not anything. We're, we're not even interested in your darn revolution. We're on our honeymoon, that's all. And tomorrow morning, we're going home, and, and I go back to work at the office. Tomorrow morning, senor, unless you give me the right film, you will be taken outside of the city and shot. El Soto and Rivera report to me immediately. However, my friends, you can walk out in freedom if you give me the photograph I want. But if it wasn't in the camera, then it it just doesn't exist. Both I and one of my men saw you take the picture. Ah, Sergeant Rivera. Yes, Capitan. You will take one other man with you, a man we can trust. You will remove everything from the Shelburne's hotel room. Hey, you... Then, Sergeant Rivera... You will go to the desk and remove their registration card and any evidence of charges for room service. In short, you will make certain that there is no proof of the Shelburne's ever having stayed at the hotel. Yes, sir. Go and do it immediately. Yes, sir. Immediately, Capitan. Bob, we can't let them do that. I don't know how we can stop them. And uh, you, Lieutenant Soro? Yes, Capitan. Lieutenant Soro, these people have behaved as enemies of, of El Supremo. If they give you any trouble, shoot them. For resistance. Yes, sir. Now, take them away. We'll talk to some of the other prisoners. We'll get word out to the American consulate somehow. You can't keep us quiet. There will be no others to tell. No one is allowed near these sails. The captain's order. It, it doesn't make sense. Why would they want to kill us just for a photograph? Could it be that that they're afraid of the picture. Afraid? Where would they be? Liz. Liz, that's it. They could have been in on the plot to kill the dictator. That could be the reason, couldn't it? I'll bet it is. Sure. Why, why they must be the would-be assassins. Oh, Pop. If we can just get word to somebody, anybody, let them know we're in here. Oh, if we could give the captain the photograph he wants. You don't believe we gave it to him? Well, if we did, why hasn't he caught it? I don't know it. Unless... Unless... What? Oh, my God. What is it, Bob? I know what happened. Oh, Liz, and all that excitement. I, I forgot to take the cover off the lens. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. Liz, there is no photograph. We couldn't prove that the captain and his friends are the, are the would-be assassins even if we wanted to. Oh, we'll never be able to convince them that they're safe from us. I know. But... But if their revolution is successful, we, we've got a chance that they'll release us. And if their revolution fails... Well, they'll never accept the fact that there's there's no photograph, that, that we're not dangerous to... Bob, put your arms around me. Sure, honey. Sure. That better? Mm. I'm afraid. No, there's, there's no reason to be, honey. Uh, we'll get out of here. You can't fool me, darling. You're scared, too? Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> In just a moment, we will return for the second act of Suspense. Munch, 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 munch Fritos, corn chips. And since Fritos corn chips are fresh as spring itself, it seemed appropriate to give you a springtime gift. So Fritos have attached a free package of flower seeds on their large bags as their salute to spring. There's nothing for you to mail in. Just buy a large bag of Fritos. And there, right in the bag, is your free package of flower seeds. They're the finest seeds you could get anywhere. Genuine burpee seeds, and there are three varieties. 
beautiful zinnias, snapdragons, or petunias. Get yours while they last. Free flower seeds on the large bags of Fritos corn chips. Munch, munch, munch a bunch of Fritos corn chips. It's not polite to smack your lips, but you can't help it with Fritos corn chips. Munch, munch, munch a bunch of Fritos corn chips. Himself. Everything has been removed from your hotel, my friends. There is no record of you ever having been there. What, what about the revolution? The revolution? Ah, it's just about over. And, and who's in power? Our dictator, El Suprema, has retained this power. Oh, Bob. I see. The film was not in your hotel, senor. This is your last chance to be truthful. Your life depends on the truth. I know, Captain. I swear to you, I I didn't take any picture this afternoon. If I could believe you... In all that excitement, I forgot to take the cover off my lens. What you say is possible, senor. Merely possible. If you fail to expose the film, you may be able to tell me what number of picture it might have been on the roll if you had exposed it. Hmm? How could I remember a thing like that? We have a truck parked behind this building. It is waiting to take you and your wife and everything you left in the hotel to a rendezvous in the mountains. There you will be disposed of. Try to remember. Let me think. The the picture that didn't come out would have... would have been number... number nine. You are certain? How can I be absolutely certain? I I think it was number nine. Perhaps it could be that you're telling the truth. I shall have to check the number of exposures. Perhaps you will be able to leave in the morning out. You see for yourself, Lieutenant. It is as the Americana claims... Eight exposed negatives. The ninth, and all the ones after it. Not exposed. So the picture was never taken, eh, Capitan? That is right. So we will be able to release the Americanas after all. Uh, Capitan Santos. Yes. That will not be possible. What? What are you saying? The Americanos know why we wanted the film. Are you certain? The block cell in which we're holding them, it is for political prisoners, No. You remember the security office had it wired only a few months ago? I remember. I've just monitored a tape recording of all conversations held in that cell since the Americanos were put in there. I have it on the machine. I will play a small portion of it. Now, listen. Afraid? Why would they be... Liz! Liz, that's it! They could have been in on the plot to kill the dictator. That could be the reason, couldn't it? I'll bet it is. Sure, why... Why, they must be the would-be assassins. Wow! Just get word to somebody. Anybody. Enough. Shut it off. They would not have to prove that we tried to kill El Supremo. They would not need the photograph to hurt us. Just to throw suspicion on us would be enough. I know, I know. Lieutenant. Yes, sir? Unfortunately, I will be detained here with emergency duties. You and Sergeant Robert, get them and all their things from the hotel into the truck. Take them to the mountains. I understand. There must be no trace. No mistakes. My life and yours depend on how carefully and thoroughly you get rid of them. In just a moment, we will return for the concluding act of... Suspense. Here's Hollywood star Mona Freeman. Who feels like acting with a miserable cold. I relieve cold distress the fast way, with four-way cold tablets. Yes, tests of all the leading cold tablets proved four-way fastest acting. Amazing four-way starts in minutes to relieve muscular pains and headache, reduce fever, calm upset stomach, also overcomes irregularity. When a cold strikes, do what I do. Take four-way cold tablets. It's the fast way to relieve nasty cold distress and feel better quickly. Four-way, only 29 cents. Our program will continue in a moment after a word about another fine product of Grove Laboratories. Had dandruff for years? 
Now get rid of it in three minutes with Fitch Dandruff Remover Shampoo. Three minutes with Fitch regularly is guaranteed to keep unsightly dandruff away forever. Apply Fitch before wetting hair, rub in one minute. Add water, lather one minute, then rinse one minute. Every trace of dandruff goes down the drain. Three minutes with Fitch, embarrassing dandruff's gone. Fitch can also leave hair up to 35% brighter. Get Fitch Dandruff Remover Shampoo today. You, you, you're going to free us? And the, the captain knows the picture never turned out. Yes, the captain knows. This way, please. We have a, a vehicle waiting. Oh, don't go to any trouble. We'll be only too glad to take a taxi instead. No trouble, I assure you. The vehicle is just outside his door. Here we are. Bob! That's a prison van. Hey, wait a Get minute. Get in, both of you. No. Get in or I will shoot you right here. You had no intention to let us go. No. You know who we are and what we attempted. Get in the truck. Oh. No, no, get in, get in. That's better. Now you, senora. Yes, yes. I will sit here in the back with you. All right, Rivera. Let us go. We're out at headquarters now. I warn you, if I shoot now, anyone who hears merely will think the truck has backfired. Now look, Lieutenant. Why don't you let my wife go? No, Bob. Hush, Liz. But you can hold me as a hostage. As long as you've got me, you know she won't talk to anyone outside. Why should I bargain? By destroying all evidence of your existence, I ensure my own safety. You have nothing to offer. If the dictator learns that you're one of the men who plotted to kill him, what then? He will kill me. And how would he... How would he treat a man he finds is very loyal to him? The man would receive recognition. He would be honored. But El Supremo has his favorites. There's no chance for others. Isn't there? How would the dictator reward the man who tells him about the captain and the rest of the traitors? You talk too much. I'm alone, Bob. It's our only chance. Now listen, Lieutenant. What about you? Be still, senor. Aren't you ambitious? And now that El Supremo is going to stay in power, he, he'd like to know who his would-be assassins are. And the man who tells him, he'll be honored, promoted. Shut your filthy mouth. Okay, Lieutenant. But you think about it. Before you pull the trigger of that gun and kill us, you give that a lot of very careful thought. We're almost there. Rivera will be driving through the gates to the farm in a moment. Well, how about it, Lieutenant? You can open that little window to the cab and make your friend turn this truck around. We'll vouch for you. Well, tell the authorities how you saved our lives. Am I to betray my friends? What you ask is too much. Oh, look, you've betrayed your country. What are a few friends now? We've reached the farm. A few moments. Senor and senora. What makes you so sure your friends won't betray you by, by going and telling El Supremo the truth? Don't they want honor, promotions, to, to save their own skins? Are you going to be a sucker for them? I, I cannot. What do you want, Lieutenant? To be a captain? To be head of the whole police force? Or for the man that turns in the would-be assassins who becomes a friend of the dictator? Anything is possible, isn't it? Yes, yes, anything. It's the temptation. You have tempted me beyond. Rivera, turn the truck around. We're going back. What do you mean? We must kill them first. We're not going to kill them. But the captain gave us orders to dispose of We're going back. I'm giving the orders now. Turn the truck. Yep. You shoot me. I will shoot you this instant. Start the truck. Yes, 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 yes. Now, back to the city. Yes. Yeah, no chance. But that driver's going to look for any opportunity to take care of the lieutenant and us. We will go directly to El Supremo's headquarters. We will tell him what I have done for you, and I, I will reveal to him the names of the men he wants. You knew my weakness, senor. You saved your life. What are we stopping for? Go on. We're at the gates again, but, but we are being blocked. What do you mean? Two of our cars have pulled in. Look, look. If this is a trick... I swear to you, they, they are all around us, and there, there is Captain Santos. What? I'm sorry, my friends. 
But if this is true, I will have to follow the captain's orders after all and shoot you. I will not risk my own life. Open this truck! I warn you, one wrong move and it will all be over. Isn't there another way out of the road? It's too late. Uh, here they are, Captain. We merely were looking for a suitable place in which to kill them. Drop your gun, Lieutenant. Or I will use this machine gun. Huh? Oh, did you hear? Shh, quick, get down the floor. <laughs> Drop your gun, Lieutenant. Then get out of that truck. I do not understand. Drop it! Very well. Now get down. Yes, sir. Are the Americanas safe? Yes, but if you give me only a moment more, I will take care of them. Is that so, Lieutenant? All right, men. Take this traitor away. Traitor? What are you talking about? I already have been in touch with El Supremo. He gave me orders to arrest and execute you and the Rivera and the others who tried to kill him. Me and the Rivera? But what about you? Yes, yeah. Dig out of here. No. No, I know what you're trying to do. You cannot. No. Let go of me. No. No. All right, my friends. We will take care of him. You mean you, you're not going to try to get rid of us? Shoot us? Perhaps that was the plan of those traitors. They will be punished, you may be sure. Is this some kind of trick? Trick, senor? Oh, no, it's no trick. I and some of my men who are loyal to El Suprema merely have come to rescue you. I am grateful that we have succeeded. Yeah, I'll bet you are. It'll mean recognition. A promotion, won't it, Captain? Perhaps, if I am lucky. At any rate, El Suprema will be very pleased with my work tonight. Come. Both of you may ride back to your hotel in my car. Thanks. Thanks very much. I can hardly believe it. You will find that everything has been put back in order in your hotel room. And that your camera has been returned to you. Thanks again. That's all I I really came to you about, isn't it? You will be able to catch your plane in the morning after all. Thank goodness. And uh, let me give you some good advice, senor. Never, never come back to this country. You understand? Don't worry. I understand. Come on, Liz. Suspense. You've been listening to The Revolution. Written for Suspense by Peter Fernandez. In a moment, the names of our players and a word about next week's story of Suspense. Out of tune because of irregularity? Kellogg's All Brand helps put you back in tune. Kellogg's All Brand is the natural way, the good food way to end constipation caused by lack of bulk in your diet. There's only one All Brand, Kellogg's All Brand. Its whole brand content gentles away constipation, supplies your system with the bulk forming food you need. Kellogg's All Brand is the only whole brand cereal to bring you the combination of proved effectiveness, appetizing taste, and crispness. It never gets mushy in milk. So get back in tune and stay in tune. It's easy with the one and only Kellogg's All Brand. A double L hyphen B R A N. Safe, reliable, pleasant. Millions enjoy it every day. They know they can count on Kellogg's All Brand to relieve irregularity. Heard in tonight's story were Rosemary Rice as Elizabeth, Phil Meter as Bob and Santos Ortega as Captain Santos. Others in the cast included Jim Bowles, Ronald Dawson, and Ralph Camargo. Listen again next week when we return with Talk About Caruso by Milton Geiger. Another tale well calculated to keep you in... Suspense. Suspense.